Yeah. All right. So what we have right here is a uh, Team Black Sheep uh, Nano Crossfire RX uh, receiver. Right here next to this button, this is where your antenna would go. And the antenna connector has been ripped off of this. And if you, th these two um, long uh, pads that look like they have solder on them, they're silver right here. These are your ground pads. And then your um, actual um, receiving signal would come from this pad right here that's been ripped off. Now, if you look really closely, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can tilt it. These li these lines that are beside that uh, pad that's been ripped off. There's w the white lines are on the the bottom lines, and then the copper lines are the top lines. Those two top lines on each side here. Uh, these, those are the copper lines that lead to that solder pad that I have scraped away. So now, the only way to be able to use the guys, future Ryan here. Uh, I'm about to refer to this receiver as a VTX. Just ignore that. <laughs> this VTX is if you hardwire your antenna to the um, receiver and it's going to be a little bit difficult these two right here aren't going to be that hard or difficult to solder to because they're right on the edge and they're a lot bigger but soldering in between these components and these pads these tiny components right here um, and this little tiny line here I mean this uh, tip that you're looking at that I'm using as a pointer is extremely fine it's a needle so the fact that it's that big and round compared to those tiny contacts tells me how hard and difficult it would be to solder to those. These types of solder with a tip as fine as this one would require you basically just doing a uh, tap solder where you just touch it and you'd be really quick because if you sit there too long, you'll heat up too many components around it and easily they could lift off by themselves or if you make a mistake and slip and bump one well it's definitely it's getting ripped off so the whole rx would no longer be um, properly working after that so you have to be extremely careful these two copper lines on both sides here are what you would have to um, connect the other part of the uh, antenna to that isn't the the ground the main wire would go to here and since this is two different points you could try to split it but i don't think that's possible seeing as how tiny the that contact of that um antenna is so hopefully one of these if you could get as much solder on it do the whole thing as possible would be the equivalent to what this pad was or what this little dot here was um yeah, we're going to try to repair it. Um, all right, you might be able to see it better now. Right here, right on the right side of the 40, where it says 47. There's a scrape right here. And this is just where I scraped away this, the top surface area so that I could get to the copper underneath and make that copper surface area a little bigger, easier to solder uh, to and further away from these components right here uh, So we should be able to hit right here and then um, Put our ground right here um, Let's see. We'll see what that looks like bring our antenna We got ready pretty much besides we got a tenant. Oh this fray wire stuff is going to be the um, ground like we said and then this little tiny tiny what is it tip right here if you can see it I know it's gonna be hard to see it's going to go right there where the 47 is soldered to that so we got to touch it to that now that's gonna be pretty difficult seeing as how I don't have a solder tip that, that that's that fine 
So it would be nice if we had one that was as fine as this. Because this is what we need. This connector is damaged, so you can no longer use it. So what we're going to have to do to be able to even re reuse this antenna is just clip this off. We're going to clip it off right below that. Just right there. Hopefully that's far enough down. It should be. And then we gotta cut this wire back. For some reason I got out of um out of frame, so we missed that one. So we're just gonna do what we're just gonna do it with this wire. It's going to be the same process. Basically, all we're doing is we're taking off that outer black sleeve. So what I was talking about with this, if you don't have wire crimpers, you can use uh, an X-Acto knife or a razor knife or a razor blade, anything. Basically, just press it against your fingertip. You don't want to put too much force, like you're trying to chop all the way through it and cut yourself. And then you just roll that wire. Roll that wire, and then take it, grab it, pinch it, pull it off. Look, and there you have it. And then that part... On your antenna, the silver strains, you're going to take those and move those down into the side. And then you should be left with a really, really tiny one that looks like this with a clear sleeve over it. You're going to do the same thing to the tip of that tiny, tiny little thing with that clear sleeve. This is an example on another VTX that we did a long time ago. This is that clear wire, or that that tiny wire with the clear um, sleeve that I was talking about that you have to clip off. And that is your actual, For in this case, since this is a transmitter, this is the transmitting. But in our case, since we're dealing with the receiver, that's the actual receiving connection right here. And then these two, um, let's see here, these two blobs of solder here on the side, this one and then this one right here, those are the silver strands that you put pull over to the side and twist and tin and those are your ground there we go should look like that and then you're going to take all of that little all of this stuff and pull it get it all to two sides that's what i do this is extremely tedious what do you do with their knife So it should look something like this. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. Alright, so there it is. This itty bitty blob of solder right there is going to be our connector. That's the toughest part right there is making that point without damaging anything else. And we did it. So all we really got to do is touch our antenna to that blob and it'll stick and then we can put our um, ground on one of these pads and then it should work since I failed to show you that part and skipped it I'm going to draw out what we did so here's our antenna right after we snipped it the tip of it it should look like this right it's our phrase right after you have um, taken the sleeve off of it then you're going to take those frays right like I said and pull them over to the side like this um, try to normally what you want to do is you want to make it to where you cut it long enough to where you can make these long enough to where you can grab them so you can twist them together and then tend them and it'll make like a T basically like this right um, so once you've done that should look something like this. that right and then you have the tiny part that's underneath all of that that'll be like this it's an even smaller wire and it's going to be a clear wire then you're going to take the tip of that and you're going to splice that off to where the tip of it is sticking out so then after that it should look like this so you got your t strands coming over here to the side and then you got your little tiny wire and then the tip of that and that tiny tip of that clear plasticky wire this 
is what you're going to tin, and that is your actual receiving part of the wire. And these um, T strands that you have tinned, those are your ground. Normally, you would make it like a T, and you'll have um, two pad, two ground pads right here, and then one uh, receiving or transmitting pad right there, and you would solder it like that. But the way we did it is we only did it to one side, so we just did it like an L. So we just skipped one of these, and we just did it like that. So that's the only thing different we did. It's the same thing, um, it's just one, one less uh, ground wire. This is something, what it should look like. We put a little bit of some goop on it to keep from bending it around. So it's hard to see the ground soldering job, but that's it.